Hey guys, it's Temple here. I'm here with uh, with one of my good buddies, this is Heath Kutrell. So, Heath, we come down here today to visit. I just stopped in. I'm actually going to do a talk today, and I figured it'd be a good time for you and I to do a video together. We ain't had time to do this in a while. Snuck in and <laughs> stole some secrets. I'm looking I at stuck some corn. Exactly. So, I made you come out here and bring us and show us your corn today. Um, this is real world, right? I mean, this yeah, isn't no your doubt. contest fields no. or nothing like that. He told me that... Uh, would you say this was planted at? 40,000. I don't plant 40,000 dry land. I don't even plant 40,000 on my <laughs> irrigated. So this is kind of, it's weird for me to kind of see this. So I know that you're a nutrient guy. Yeah, we're 100% So nutrient. are we. Yeah. And what do you think that is bringing you some added benefit this year? Well, you know, we changed up a lot of things the last few years. And uh, one thing that we did bring in to our uh, nutrient, our, our fertility, uh, was we started using some uh, NutriCharge. So, you know NutriCharge. You've used it now for two years. It was in your contest stuff yep. last year, and it was 100% of your acres this year. Last year, we, we tried quite a bit of it, and then, uh, like what we've seen, uh, where we didn't put a little bit at or where we didn't put some on, we could definitely see the difference in, you know, the uptake of the fertility. Uh, so, you're right. We, we ended up putting 100% on the entire crop this year. I kind of feel like for us, I mean, and I think you feel the same way. You feel like it's one of these, these the added benefit. Like we know that we need nutrients. We know that we need a nutrient, a sim plot or whoever, you know, to bring us our fertility. Right. But do we, are we doing the best job that we can do to get it in the plant? Probably not. Well, I think this, uh, this piece to the puzzle actually brings a lot more to the table as far as uh, production on our corn. So, you know, as far as, from here going forward, this is something that will be in my recipe going forward, even on every acre. And, you know, we, we play a little bit with NCGA and enjoy doing that. But uh, when it comes down to the bottom dollar, you know, we're here to survive. And, you yeah. know, the way commodity is nowadays and, you know, crops suffering, this, that, and the other, you know, we got to get utilized every acre, you know, what we're getting back. Well, I noticed when I drove in here, I was like, damn, things are way drier down here than I thought they were. Yep. And then we came in here and I started looking at all your corn today and I'm like, all right, we got to go do a video because <laughs> there's something that there's a difference. And I don't know if it's a systematic approach of everything that you're doing, which I think that it is. But yeah. I think that you've got certain products that are just, they're shining and are you getting more fertility in your plant? Is it building a bigger root system? Right. Is it something that you're doing from mechanical at the beginning all the way to the end? Yeah, and we do a lot, you know, we do a lot of tillage. Uh, we rip every acre of our corn ground, um, multiple passes of tillage, and then, you know, trying to figure out our fertility, what needs to be placed where, when it needs to be placed, and how it needs to be placed. And we're learning more every year as far as getting those, you know, substantially put in place at time. Yeah, and so, I mean, looking at the corn here, I mean, you got 40,000 and you filled it out to the tip. I can't do this on an irrigated. Yeah, so. it's, and it's it's been pretty corn. Uh, you know, you, you look into the kernels, I mean, everything seems yeah. to be healthy. I mean, it's 18 to 20 around and they're deep. Yeah, they're, it's pretty corn. I, mean, I don't think incredible. every acre is going to be like this. Unfortunately, like you said, we got some dry spots and I think we do too. everybody on the East Coast probably got hit with some of that. But I mean, right now, this is harvestable and... Look at the stay green out here. I mean, you got plenty of green in here. That means you got nutrients in here, and they, you kept it alive. Yeah, and we're so we're going to start harvest tomorrow. And this this particular field right here, we're standing, will be the first harvested. Uh, we tested this corn uh, yesterday, and it was at 21 percent. So yeah, the green is still here, uh, which tells me that you know our fertility is right. You know? Well, not only that, we got to make sure we got enough stay green in here to keep it standing because exactly. we got hurricane season. Yep. it's coming. Yep. It's right down the road. It's always uh. It's always pressure. On us it is sure. always pressure. So, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and dig into the rest of his recipe. He's going to tell me everything, and then we'll be back to you soon. Thanks, guys. Thanks. <laughs>